What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be reviewing this Michael Zeba Pro EDC Bally Saw and Butterfly Knife. I have been wanting a Bally Saw that I could EDC, not one for flipping. The reason why I wanted to choose this one because it's, I believe, about eight, a little bit over eight inches long, which is just about perfect for an EDC. I carry a Sabenza 31 and I use it for everyday use. I uh, use it for work, for cutting, and I saw this one and I thought maybe, you know, this would be a perfect for EDC that I could use for work use. And I believe that's what this knife is actually intended for. It's not intended to be, to have as a flipper. You know, this is for something that you put in your pocket, you pull out, you cut something, you put it back in, and I think this is perfect. And I noticed there's no reviews on YouTube about this knife. Uh, this is actually only my second Bally Song. The first one I I bought it is uh, Atropos uh, Demon Light, and it looks like this one, uh, or it is it is this one. I taped the end so it wouldn't cut me when I'm flipping, but uh, this one also flips. It flips really good. Uh, but this is this is mostly for flipping. Uh, I think I this is a very high quality knife. I mean, even even the top up here is rolled in, rolling, so it's not super sharp on your hand and whatnot. But this isn't really a knife that I would like to pull out and cut something, especially in, in public. And you know, it's a very aggressive looking knife. Uh, I got it from Atropos again, which is in Russia, and. I'll have to do a review on this one after uh, I do one on this, and I'll give my reasoning why I wouldn't recommend this one for flipping. So back to this knife. It comes with this uh, Pelican case, which is really nice. Uh, never got a knife with a Pelican case. You know, it fits, it fits right in there just like that. And uh, I, have a, I have a big hand, you know. This is like a, almost a, like a size 10 hand, you know. And it fits in my hand like just perfect, exactly what I want it to do, you know. Uh, very awesome. You can fill this little uh, indentions up here, but that, you know, that doesn't really bother me. I'm not going to really do so much about that. Uh, M390. It's got his little, his name on there on the, on the other side. Uh, titanium. Uh, I don't know what the inside is. You can just go online and... Look that up on Knife Center, what's in the knife right there. Uh, it's got a latch. Uh, that's kind of the only bad thing, is the latch is kind of hard to get in. I don't know if I can even, I even try it like this. Well, I'm only one-handed right now, but I mean, it flips, it flips really good. The, I mean, just look at that. It's super thin and, it, and while it's closed, the, Handles are really close to each other right here, and then when it's open, they're also really close again, like that, which almost feels like more like a fixed blade, where like my Atropos, look how wide that is. That is really wide. It's wider than that, so it, you, you're getting more of a blade to, to spread open on you, which I'm not a big fan of, but this blade right here, this one is just... It's like, it's perfect for EDC. And also, it's got this like divot right here, which is good so you can choke up on it like this. You know, so when you're cutting something, you can you can kind of use your wrist a little bit and get in there like that, but yet you still have a full blade on the tip. And it just, I would highly recommend this, this blade for EDC use. Not so much for flipping, because it's smaller, and it, it, it is really light. So doing a bunch of tricks would be really hard. I, I can barely open, like one hand and open like that. It's still kind of hard a little bit. You really got to flip it. Uh, but awesome blade, M390 again. Not super sharp when it first comes out, but it's still sharp. Uh, so yeah, I highly recommend get, getting this blade. I got it on Knife Center for about, with taxes, about 268. And uh, I'm gonna carry it today at work and maybe do some stuff at work and 
see how it see how it runs please uh like this if you like it and go check them out